state of emergency in eight districts in the Transvaal and in the Eastern Cape. Finally, it was back to the future for Prince Charles and Princess Diana tonight when they went to the London premiere of the latest Steven Spielberg film. The showing of the science fiction fantasy was in aid of the Prince of Wales' trust. The princess's maroon dress was set off by a long string of pearls. The royal couple chatted with Mr. and Mrs. Spielberg and also met the rock singer and Live Aid star, Phil Collins. And that's the news from us tonight. Good night. Put superb Sanyo value all around your home. This microwave oven is only $179.99. There's the latest slimline video, only $299.99. And a sensational portable hi-fi for only $149.99. Sanyo, something for everyone from Glenn's, Hutchison, Robertson's and Stepek. Where can you buy better? Kids are treat this Christmas. Take them to the carnival and circus at the Scottish Exhibition Centre. Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait for Christmas dinner. Of course, we've already got our turkey, haven't we? Self-basting, just the size we wanted. Good old bee jam. Do you know a Matthews Golden Norfolk only costs 59 pence a pound? <laughs> you can't blame me for blowing my own trumpet, can you? Christmas at Bee Jam. It's what your freezer's for. Good evening. A £300 million cash boost for Scotland's health service over the next three years has been announced by Scottish Secretary George Younger. He told MPs at Westminster that it will bring the total spending on the Scottish Health Service in 1986 to over £2 billion. The extra money, about £120 million, has been earmarked for next year, will go to health boards for hospital and community health service programmes. Shadow Scottish Secretary Donald Dewar welcomed the extra cash but said he wasn't throwing his hat in the air about it. He claimed it only helped to make up for the cuts the government had forced on the Scottish Health Service. The new chairman of Scottish Conservative backbench MPs, Bill Walker, faces an attempt by his colleagues to oust him from office. Mr Walker, who was elected last week, will be the subject of what amounts to a motion of no confidence to be moved at a party meeting tomorrow night at Westminster. Secondary school children in Scotland between the first and fourth years are smoking over £8 million worth of cigarettes a year, according to a report published today. The report by the Scottish Home and Health Department and the Department of Health and Social Security also shows that overall 24% of sample pupils in Scotland said they smoked either regularly or occasionally. Scottish council leaders claimed that the reduction in government support to local authorities announced today will mean some people having to pay double their existing rates bills. They also say that certain council services in some areas could be completely destroyed through lack of money. The total level of government cash aid has been announced at £2,005 million. It's a 2% increase of £43 million, but the local authorities say they need double that figure. The Convention of Scottish Local Authorities say the government has reached an all-time low in support terms. In four years, there had been a cumulative reduction in grant aid of £1,500 million. The compulsory wearing of seat belts in cars is saving about 1,000 Scots from death or serious injury every year, according to a government report out today. The figures reveal that a number of car drivers killed or seriously injured fell from around 2,350 a year to 1,800 a year after the seatbelt law was introduced. Football now, and we've just received news that the group of eight Premier League clubs threatening a breakaway from the Scottish League was strengthened tonight when Dundee, the last full-time team, decided to join them. And finally, still in football, in the Tom Hart Memorial Trophy match tonight, the result was Hibs 5, Dunfermline 3.
Tonight, a first Tuesday special. Inside Britain's bomb, how safe is it for those who live and work with Britain's nuclear deterrent? That people only start to recognize these risks once the coffins start to pile up and once the hazards start to come. For the first time on British television, an investigation into the safety of our bomb. Hello and welcome to First Tuesday. The subject of tonight's programme is the British nuclear deterrent, our bomb. 